We're going to say they're not budging. They're not going to give him any money. And they're upset because he's getting a primetime address. Keep in mind, he is the president of the United States. But they want their time on television, too, which is not a bad thing, because then we can hear from them why they think it's immoral. Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, they released this statement yesterday. It says now that the television networks have decided to air the president's address, which, if his past statements are any indication, will be full of malice and misinformation. Democrats must immediately be given equal airtime. And here's the problem. Uh, they're going to come back and they're not going to say we want such and such miles of fence. And we want a little bit less money because they're not dealing. All they say is we're not even talking unless you fund the government. And we postpone these talks until maybe two weeks into February and fund the government where there is no friction. But as Mike Pence says yesterday, uh, without that, uh, the pressure of a, the shutdown, uh, to paraphrase, uh, they wouldn't be having any talks at all. The question is not only of the drugs that are coming through, not only the potential gang members that are making their way through, uh, there is danger. There's also families and humanitarian aid that's needed at a border. And then the, the, with the catch and release in court saying we've got to release these people and these kids within 20 days, they go into our school system. In our school system, last time there was unaccompanied minors, they flooded into Long Island. And I want to tell you, I can't tell you how many teachers said their classroom size doubled and a lot of them don't speak any English. And suddenly they're trying to teach kids with other kids who are paying taxes, whose parents are paying right. taxes, the same su subjects, and the other kids don't speak English. So in comes more teachers, in comes more tax dollars to find those more teachers, more classrooms, temporary classrooms, and they had no say in what was happening. These people are now being stacked up at, at the border in makeshift shelters. Well, in according to our brain room, in the last two years alone, criminal Illegal immigrants were responsible for about 235,000 crimes. And when you break it down, take a look at how many of, the, of that number. Uh, 4,000 for homicides. These are total ICE arrests in the last two years. 100,000 for assault. 30,000 for sex crimes. And that does not include the drugs. Right. Drugs at the border from January to August 2018.